Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ADC along with this uh, angle bisector AB as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 70 units whereas uh, this side length uh, AD is uh, 28 and moreover uh, this angle uh, BAC is uh, 60 degrees and likewise uh, this another angle uh, BAD is 60 degrees as well and now our task is uh, to find the length uh, AB in other words uh, this uh, distance please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's uh, make an observation we can see that this angle uh, is 60 degrees and this angle is uh, 60 degrees uh, as well and we are dealing with these uh, triangles uh, as well therefore we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to consider this uh, an equilateral uh, triangle this is an equilateral triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length uh, and likewise this uh, side length and since all these uh, side lengths are congruent so therefore all these uh, interior angles uh, are going to be congruent uh, as well and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact angles of an equilateral triangles are uh, 60 degrees each so therefore uh, this angle is going to be 60 degrees this angle is 60 degrees and likewise this interior angle is 60 degrees as well so therefore we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines so therefore i have drawn this uh, equilateral uh, triangle uh, apd by extending uh, this uh, line a b all the way to this point uh, p and then I have connected this point P with this uh, vertex uh, D and now since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle uh, APD so therefore all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, congruent if this side length is uh, 28 uh, then this side length is going to be 28 uh, and likewise uh, 28 uh, as well and likewise uh, all these interior angles are going to be 60 degrees uh, each this angle is 60 degrees uh, this angle is 60 degrees and likewise uh, this angle is 60 degrees as well and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, these angles uh, this angle 60 degrees uh, and this angle they are uh, alternate uh, interior angles since uh, this uh, AP is our transversal so therefore we conclude that this uh, line uh, c a is uh, parallel to this uh, line uh, p d and now since uh, these uh, two lines are uh, parallel so therefore we can see that this uh, p d b angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle uh, a c b both of these are uh, once again alternate uh, interior angles in other words if i call this angle alpha then this uh, angle uh, PDB is going to be angle alpha as well and finally this angle is going to be congruent uh, to this uh, angle since they are uh, vertical angles if I call this angle uh, beta then this angle has got to be beta as well and now we can see that this uh, triangle uh, PBD and this uh, bigger uh, triangle uh, C, B, A are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. Since this angle is congruent to this angle uh, alpha, this uh, beta is congruent to this angle beta, and finally, this is 60 degree angle, and likewise, this is a 60 degrees angle as well. So, therefore, we are going to have a proportion. So, let me go ahead and write down uh, this uh, side uh, A, B, the ratio of A, B, and uh, BP is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, side AB and this side PD. Let me write down uh, AC divided by PD. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this our AC length uh, is uh, 70. So I'm going to replace this one by 70. And likewise, our PD length uh, is uh, 28. So I'm going to replace this by 28. 
So therefore, we got a ratio of uh, A, B, and uh, B, P equals to 70 divided by 28. And now we can see 70 and 28 could be reduced to 5 divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to write down A, B divided by B, P equals to 5 divided by and now we can see that uh, this uh, ratio equals to 5 divided by 2. So therefore uh, we can write uh, this one as a b side length uh, is going to be equal to 5 times some constant uh, k and likewise uh, b p is going to be equal to 2 times uh, some, some constant uh, k as well. And now our task is to find the value of uh, this constant k. So therefore we can write uh, that this uh, a b length uh, is uh, 5 times k. And this uh, b p length uh, is uh, 2 times k. So therefore this uh, whole uh, length uh, a p is going to be 5k plus uh, 2k. And that is going to give us uh, 7 times uh, k. So therefore I can write uh, this uh, a p length uh, as uh, 7 k. And since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle a p d. So therefore uh, this whole uh, a p length uh, is uh, 28. So therefore I can write uh, a p length uh, equals to 28 uh, as well. And if we compare these uh, two equations. Uh, then I can easily write uh, 7 times k equals to 28. And now let's divide both sides by 7 to isolate k. So therefore our k value turns out to be 4. And now since we are interested in calculating this uh, length uh, a b and this uh, is uh, 5 times k and we already figured out our k value as 4. So I'm going to substitute k value four over here. So therefore if a b equals to 5 k then uh, a b is going to be 5 times 4 is going to give us uh, 20 units. So thus after all the manipulation and calculations our uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 20 units. That means uh, this uh, a b length uh, is going to be 20 units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.